This video is brought to you by Astapro and Liquid IV. More on them after the reaction. I see the sins of the rejection. I'm Aaron. This is Andrew. We're gonna watch the Minority Report. Re Report. Andrew, how are you doing today, my We're friend? gonna do this all movie. The whole thing. The whole thing. I am, I doing, am doing well. well. I'm, I'm so, so excited, not only for Tom Cruise, but Steven Spielberg. I get to add another movie to the list of films I haven't seen from Spielberg, who's one of my favorite directors. The only one I've seen that they worked on together was War of the Worlds. I enjoyed that film, but I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know nothing about this movie. You guys, tell us what's your favorite, favorite Tom, Cruise Tom Cruise movie. movie. Tell us what your favorite action scene is, because we want to know. We want to see if you guys have the same thoughts as we do. Leave a like, hit that notification bell. Also, thank you to the guys at Prepper who do these highlights. You guys are the real heroes over there doing the dirty work for these boys. And if you want to be super, super duper, duper sexy, sexy, you can go over onto Patreon where you can watch the full length of reactions where you can sync up with your own copy. You watch so many movies, so many shows with this guy and this guy, Greg John, and the rest of us real rejects here at the channel also, also, also we got some cool shirts baby you can get these over on rejectnationshop.com we can get so many other shirts as well they got so many cool things coming up and uh a lot of cool stuff already there so go on check it out all i know is i'm a black man he's a jew we're minorities baby okay it's time to get reported <laughs> see what you did there <laughs> Oh, oh, all right. It's this kind of film. <laughs> Starting off hot. You know how blind I am without the light. Oh, don't cry. James Spader? Oh, oh. Damn. Okay, I would be extremely the hurt if a woman so if a woman cheated on me, I'd be hurt, but that's Whoa. Oh, it's trippy. That is cool. Victim. Okay. Department of Pre-Crime. Okay. Right? 2054. 20, 30 years away. I'm gonna wa if I'm still alive when we get to that year, I'm going to rewatch this. Okay, Jed, what's coming? Red Bull, double homicide, one male, one female. Killer's male. I know that actor. Bringing down the house, I think. Agatha nailed the time frame at 8.04 a.m. The twins are a little fuzzy on that, so we'll need confirmation. I can already tell the visuals on this film are going to be amazing. Yeah, I like that the balls, the wooden balls are coated. Yeah, that is 24 minutes, 13 seconds from now. This is a red ball. I love classical music. It's so comforting. It soothes the mind. <laughs> All right, so we're seeing crimes before they happen. Before happen's happen. mm -hmm. pre-crime, yeah. Jeez, I mean, I, I already have so many questions. I wish we had this now. Like, if we could stop crimes like this, this would be amazing. I feel like this is going to be about a, like a moral debate whether you should let crime happen or do you stop it preemptively. I, if you could stop it from happening, I don't know what the. De I mean, if obviously if, the, if you have a debate in the comments, please let me know. But why would you not want to stop? Well, like, it's, a, it's a debate of like it's a debate of certainty, right? Is it going to happen or is it likely to happen? Okay. He looked familiar. Who? Oh, man, standing in the park across the street. Hey, I went to high school with him, Andrew Sandler. Huh. I just remembered he was in this movie. That's how I knew he was there. You know, I'm just thinking maybe I could play hooky, stay home today. What a fascinating concept. I think um, a comic did this, like Civil War II. If it's, if it's what I think it is, if it's the debate this, that this, I think it is. This is a coy question. <laughs> yeah. God, I love the visuals. It's like visual storytelling. It's so cool. John, I wrote it down in your calendar. I left you a message at your house. Check in with the papers they had it forwarded. See if the neighbors knew where they went. Check all relations. Check in neighbors and relations. Oh, it's Damien Dark. Oh, from uh, Arrowverse? Mm-hmm. Tween from the Fed. Colin Farrell. Hey. All right, what he's doing now, we call scrubbing the image. Looking for clues as to where the murder is going to happen. Original running bond brick pattern. Streamline early Georgian details. The brick has been repointed. Okay, so these people have the visions, and then they, they put them onto the screen to try to decipher it. Okay. Victims are pronounced here, killers here. Beyond that, the date of the crime, all we have to run on are the images that they produce. Whoa, so like mutants. The 
precogs and see a murder four days out. Why the late call? And we call it a red ball. Crimes of passion is no premeditation, so they show up late. Ah. We don't really see anything with premeditation anymore. People have gotten the message. Uh -huh. Oh, that's that's so cool. Yeah. Because if everyone knows that, it's gonna they're gonna be able to see it. Like you're not gonna commit these atrocities because right. people know about it. So wait, is the fact that this division exists is it's public knowledge now. Oh yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> This is why they wanted Tom Cruise to play Tony Stark. They saw this movie. Like, he's good with technology. He's good at pantomiming things in front of him. Oof. Time horizon, six minutes. Dude, just do the Tom Cruise run. You'll get there faster. Oh, not the scissors. Oh. Not your kid's scissors. <laughs> oh, hate that for you, guy. That's rough, buddy. The bed is soft. I'm soft. Damn. Damn. I get how you're feeling, but still, that's not murder. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Which one is it? They all look the same. Damn you, suburbia! Get Marks, close the front door. Dude, I'm stressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so tense. Negative. The front door is open. The front Got door him, is open. dude. He's course, a genius. Oh, we got the Tom Cruise one. If it wasn't, if it wasn't the front door that was open. I forgot my glasses. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Solved it. Oh my God. Ah. All over the glass. Stepping all over the glass. The guys, like, can you guys come back in 25 minutes? Look at me. What? Positive for Howard Marks. Oh. By mandate of the District of Columbia Pre Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was taken. That's, <laughs> that's wild. That's a crazy Miranda Wright's reading. Sarah! Give the man his hat. Oh, God. His hat? No, I wasn't going to do it! Officer Scott. Howard, don't cry. Howard, don't cry. Whoa. What a fascinating. Who came up with this concept? I mean, it might have been a book, I guess, right? Probably. So they stopped the murder. Well, that's just an echo. Uh, pre cog deja vu, if you will. Whoa. It's really bad when the pre cog see them over and over again. Oh my God. They just have to leave, live with the memories of what didn't happen. Wow. That's insane. Oh, this movie's cool, dude. Just six years ago, the homicide rate in this country had reached epidemic proportions. Only a miracle could stop the bloodshed. But instead of one miracle, we were given three. The precognitives. Within just one month... Max von Cito? The murder rate in the District of Columbia was reduced 90%. Hey, yeah. Wow. Within a year, pre-crime effectively stopped murder in our nation's... It's a very 20... A very 2000s commercial. In the six years we've been conducting our little experiment, there hasn't been a single murder. Love Max von Cito. I just watched Ghostbusters 2 and he's the voice of Vigo. Hmm. I did not know that. Just need a little clarity. You want the customary clarity or the new and improved kind of clarity? Just give me the new stuff. Uh oh. What? It's like Tom's got the itch. In the land of the blind, the one eyed. Whoa. Man. That is trippy. Insane. Future looks nice. It's very blue. Seems his wife and son are both. Okay, so cereal boxes are gifts now. Hey, that's why he got into pre. Whoa! Never seen animation on a cereal box like that. Hi, Daddy. Can you teach me how to run faster? Keep your knees up. Like that. Good. Like that. Like that. Like that. Oh. See, you're a natural runner. Like his daddy. You gotta keep running. All right, hitting me in the emotional feels. I'll be as fast as you someday. Oh, I think you'll beat me someday. I gotta go. I love you. I love you, Daddy. Yeah. Well, at least he has those. I'd imagine just 
as depressed as he is over that. Like, that's why he buries himself in work. Oh, wow. Sweetie, why don't you put the camera down and come and watch the rain with me? No. I promise I'll make it a memorable moment. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> this is why videos and pictures are important. Yeah. All right, I am emotionally invested in this character. <laughs> you got me, Spielberg. Interesting. Probably going to say that a lot in this reaction. <laughs> Look, I'm not with the ACLU on this, Jeff. But let's not kid ourselves. We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. Oh, there you go. There's the moral ambiguity you were talking about. You're talking about predetermination, which happens all the time. Why'd you catch that? Because it was gonna fall, but it didn't fall. You caught it. Point well taken. <laughs> Precogs want to see what you intend to do. Then why can't they see rapes, or assaults, or suicides? There's nothing more destructive to the metaphysical fabric that binds us in the untimely murder of one human being by another. Huh. Zara Cinnamon, she developed Precogs, designed the system, and pioneered the interface. Speaking of interfacing, I'd love to say hello. To Hinneman. To them. Do they talk? You've never been inside. We keep strict separation so that no one can be accused of tampering. So I'll be the first one to go in then. So are they humans? Are they androids? If they are purely human, that must be really traumatizing. Just seeing nothing but murders all day in your head. And then just like living with the echoes of those. Tell me how all this works. The photon milk acts as both a nutrient supply and a liquid conductor. It enhances the images that each of them receive. We call the female Agatha. The twins are Arthur and Dash. It's been Agatha all along. I knew you were going to say that. I knew that you knew I was going to say that. Precognition. They don't feel any pain. We keep their heads pretty well stocked with dopamine and endorphins. Plus we oh my god. Jeez. I wanted to drift off into too deep a sleep. They can't be kept too awake either. It's better if you don't think of them as human. Oh, yeah. It's awful. No. They're much more than that. Did they sign up for this? I was just thinking that. Is this, Was this free will or were they just chosen? I mean, they're saving a lot of lives, I guess, but jeez. I spent three years at Fuller Seminary before I became a cop. My father was very proud. What does he think of your chosen line of work? I don't know. He was shot and killed when I was 15 on the steps of our church in Dublin. Oh, Oof. Wow. I know what it's like to lose someone close to him. Of course, nothing is like the loss of a child. At least now you and I have the chance to make sure that kind of thing doesn't happen to you. Don't talk about my son. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect, I agree. If there's a flaw, it's human. It always is. He's not wrong. I mean, yeah, you brought up that point. Like, what if they make a mistake? Don't touch the water. Don't do it. You're going to cause the mistake, friend. Well, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. <laughs> By the dawn's early light. Well done. Whoa! Hello. What, 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 is, what is that? Spielberg is so good with those jump scares. Oh. What is that? I don't think she's supposed to be down there. She grab me. Grab you, it's impossible. The pre-cons aren't even aware of us. In the milk, all they see is the future. <laughs> what a line. In the milk, all you see is the future. He's playing the organ. You the sentry? Yes, sir. I'm Gideon. Oh. I need you all to mine in the vehicle. I believe that's Tim Blake Nelson. That's the leader right there. That's the leader. I'm interested in a murder. Kill type? Drowning. Victim's Caucasian female. She's a golden oldie. One of our first. Probably before your time. Whoa. Just show me Agatha's data stream. For that, we go for a ride. Whoa. So wait, they all have to agree on the vision for it to be pursued? I or all have to see the same thing? Interesting. Yes. Welcome to Cerebro. Interestingly designed film. It has a lot of visual storytelling, which I love. They'd all be out there killing people if it wasn't for you. Look, at, look at how peaceful they all seem. Oh my God, that's so creepy. Now that is one bad man. He drowned a woman named Ann Lively out at Roland Lake. Killers at John Doe. Why was a neighbor ID'd from the eye scan? On account of those are not his eye. He had them swapped out to fool the scanner. Oh. oh. You can get it done on the street for a few thousand Jeez. bucks these days. I was about to say, did he take the, that homeless guy who sold him the drugs, his eyes? It's a classified file. Tell me about the intended victim, Miss Ann Lively. Looks like she's a neuroanatic. 
like our John Doe here. So where's she now? I guess Glitch is coming too. As a cover up. The minute pre-crime goes national, they're going to take it away from We won't let them. How is an old man and a cop on the whiff ever going to stop them? Mm. You don't choose the things you believe in. They choose you. There's a reason you're here, John. Had pre-crime been in place just six months earlier, the loss you and Lara suffered would have been prevented. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's his wife. Okay. okay, so she's still alive. I take it they're separated now, though. Okay, I thought it was both of them. Did you just break into his apartment? It kind of feels like he did, but I don't know the rules of the law in the 2054. It's trespassing. It's property. We... We made up a soccer team, yeah. and we practice at school. Yeah, do you practice with Connor? Daddy's in a lot of trouble, Sean. Whoa, what an image. Got the Spielberg pan away shot. Well, usually <laughs> it's the pan in shot, but I guess that's the reverse Spielberg shot. Leo Crow. Now, from what I can see, we got a white male victim, about 5'10", approximately 170. And it takes a round in the tin ring and goes out a window. Red ball? Nope. Brown ball. This one's premeditated. I got to imagine this was up for some Academy Awards with the visuals. Definitely. Send a protection team as soon as we lock location. Mm. God. I wonder how many people have this job, or is it only Tom Cruise who does this? He's the best at it. <laughs> yeah. It's Tom Cruise, of course he is. Female, senior, she's smoking a uh, pipe. <laughs> she's laughing. But what is she smoking in the pipe? Clearly that good stuff. You're not gonna kill me. Goodbye. Oh! Oh, shoot! Wait, you say something, Chief? <laughs> I didn't see nothing. I'll get this one. No, nah, no, nah, you good. I got it, brother. We got time on this one, Jed. Mine. Going down and getting me a piece of cake they're eating down there. Sure, Chief. Uh, I think I'll get one for myself while I'm at it. Ooh, fascinating. Uh, what the hell is going on? Um, oh. that'd be his name. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm assuming because he looked at a file he wasn't supposed to see, something is going on. I'm confused about... <laughs> Yo, you have to be the one to stop your own. Fascinating. I love that Tom Cruise face montage we just had. I like you, Chief. You've always been nice to me. I'll give you two minutes before I hit the alarm. <gasps> no! Oh my god, dude, he doesn't even know. You see? You see, you're all about it until it happens to you, aren't you? Now you gotta go on the run. You need too much. All right, so now we got a cat and mouse game going. You're in a lot of trouble, John. You set me up. I'll write the paranoia off to the whiff you were doping on. Oh, we found the drugs. Easy. Seems I found a flaw. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Possession alone will cost you six months. Not to mention your badge. I guess we won't be working together after all. He's like, that's the least of my problems is the drug right. possession. <laughs> I'm so this, excited. This really just twisted and turned and... Oh, we got some product placement. Wow. This is pretty, for 2002, this is this is pretty good. The effects, yeah. Yeah, it just meant like those, the, specifically that shot, too. He set me up. Uh, Whitworth, it's Whitworth. He's yeah, the, who's the victim? Leo Crump. Oh, who is he? I have no idea. I've never heard of him, but I'm supposed to kill him in less than 36 hours. We still don't know how his son died. Oh. Maybe it's the guy who killed his son. That's the only reason I can think of why he would kill somebody he doesn't know. Well, you can come to my house, John. You know what I can't. Get me there. I'm not gonna get Halo. You can't run, John. Uh, he, you've never seen a Tom Cruise film. He c can very much That's run. That's the main thing he does. He's the best at it. Oh! oh! I'm feeling a little Star Wars vibe from John Williams here with the music. It's reminding me of um episode. Uh, oh, two. Attack of the Clones. From Attack of the Clones. Well, this is the same year, Attack of the Clones. Huh. 2002. And obviously we know Spielberg and Lucas are best friends, so. Sure, a little co-inspiration happened during the pre-production process. And again, we're not saying it's the exact same. We're just saying with little, little, little simpler damn. Oh, he's oh, got the oh. same pose. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> How are you walking like that? I can do that. I can do that, but I don't wanna. A road diverges in the desert. 
Lexus. The road you're on, John Anderton, is the one. I'm loving the product placement so far in this film. Yeah. After seeing Dune in 2099, I would love to see uh, Denny Venu's version of this movie. Trey makes two stops at 20th and 33rd. Send you in its seat location. This has got to be such a conflict for some of these guys, too. They're so close to him. It's like, damn it. <laughs> right, they don't want to hunt him down, obviously. Of course that, of course that. It's like a Hogwarts newspaper, or I mean, in Harry Potter, I mean. <laughs> He's staring him hard. That's that crew stare right there. Yeah. He's got to do Mission Impossible. We could put one of the disguises on. Face mask. Fire him up! Almost feels like it's in the same universe as like Judge Dredd. I can see that. Okay, how's he getting out of this? <laughs> hey, Fletch. Hey, John. Tom Cruise fight scene. Let's go. Hey, don't do this, John. This is reminding me of Civil War. Not Civil War, Winter Soldier. Like the elevator scene? This is the elevator scene. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's made him throw up. Damn. That is a great tracking shot. And you know it's Cruz. He's doing all these stunts on his own. Oh, of course. I'd expect no less. <laughs> <Got a grip. laughs> Such a nice guy. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. So cool this scene. Whoa. Nice. Tom Cruise is unfazed. Well, at least something positive came out of this. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Deliver us! Finish it! <laughs> How retro of them. Colin Farrell's not just a bureaucrat. He can actually run, too. They're chasing this man for something he didn't know he was going to do. You see? This is this is why pre-crime pre ain't the way, man. I mean, that's what you said at the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. 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 Yeah, Sonic Gun, let's go! Yeah. This movie is so dope, dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, Colin Farrell's got some moves too. Oh. Is he like a lawyer or something? How does he know how to fight? Well, he said he was training to be a police officer, oh. remember? Fair, fair, fair. You're right. What are they making cars in this f plant factory? Whoa! <laughs> Ooh! Sorry, not to compare. I mean, this is awesome. It kind of does like Attack of the Clones and this have little similarities, that scene where they're on Geonosis. But I again, it's it, not I a comparison. It. it came out in the same year, so it's not like you could copy. Just somewhat a little bit similar. But it's cool. I love this. This is great. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. I could see George Lucas and Spielberg on the phone. I'm doing this with my Geonosis scene. I'm doing this with my Minority Report. <laughs> Where are they building Lexuses? They are building Lexuses. Thanks, guys. I got a new car. <laughs> That's crazy in the future how fast cars can get built. So the yeah, car is just see. ready, like right off the lot. It's just ready to be out of the factory. I mean, it's just ready to be driven. So interesting. The way it's shaped, it looks backwards. I, I was just thinking that, actually. Well, okay, plants are alive in this universe. Plants plants can do this. That's gonna that's not gonna be good. Does poison ivy live here? 
It's national treasure Uma Thurman. Oh, I'm afraid that would be from the doll's eye. This just isn't your week, Ugh. is it? Do you have the antidote? You better drink this. Soon you won't be able to swallow and then you'll be totally buggered. All of it. That's what I do when I have a sore throat. Just drink it all in one gulp. You could tell me how someone can fake a prevision. How would I know that? Because you invented pre-crime. Oh. If the unintended consequences of a series of genetic mistakes and science gone haywire can be called invention, yes, then I invented pre-crime. So they bastardized her invention. Mm. Someone did. I've never met the man I'm supposed to kill. And yet a chain of events has started, a chain that will lead you inexorably to his murder. The precogs are never wrong. Except for in the case of Tom Cruise. But occasionally, they do disagree. Oh. Once in a while, one of them will see things differently than the other two. Oh, fascinating. Why didn't I know about this? Because these minority reports are destroyed the instant they occur. Hey! Yeah, yeah, there it is! What? Obviously, for pre-crime to function, there can't be any suggestion of fallibility. After all, who wants a justice I'll system? I'm just faking it! Are you saying I've haloed innocent people? Jesus. Only once in a while. Most of the time, it's Those good. Those accused of a pre-crime might just might have an alternate future. Oh. Ooh. The country knew there was a chance. The system would collapse. So why is she telling him this information? Well, I guess he's screwed either way, right? I don't yeah. know. Don't trust anyone. Just find the minority report. The plot thickens. Yeah. What safe place is that? The safest place. Very. Where is it? I like how calm he is, but you can still, like, feel scared. Inside the pre -com. <laughs> Agatha? Agatha. Yep. What up? Walk right into pre-crime, get into the temple, somehow tap into these precogs and wear a face mask. I'm telling you, it works <laughs> in your other franchise. Oh yeah, you've never seen Mission Impossible. And then walk out. Actually, I think you have to run out, but yes, that is what you have to do. She's giving you your quest. Now go. Flee from this place. Sometimes in order to see the light, you have to risk the dark. I like that quote. You know all sorts of people who can help you out. The night is darkest before the dawn, but the dawn is coming. It's a bar. Funny how all living organisms are alike. When the chips are down, when the pressure is on, every creature on the face of the earth is interested in one thing, no. and one thing only. Survival. No. It's on survival. Survival. Now? Find the minority report. That's an interesting way to prove a point, but... How do I even know which one has it? It's always in the more gifted of the three. Agatha. It's been Agatha all, all along. along. Literally. It's been Agatha all along. Where is she? Oh, is that how you're going to try to get to him through his ex-wife? I mean, it's not a bad... I mean, it's pretty smart and... Manipulative. Quite smart. I agree. Started blowing but. What movie is that in the background? I don't. It's an older film that I don't recognize. Who framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Clean it up, please. But you do understand I can't just give you new irises. Oh, it's, uh, I think his name is Peter. I forgot his last name. He's in so many movies. Let me introduce my gorgeous assistant, Miss Van Eyck. Don't say it. <laughs> Crude setup, but I like this place. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, John. Oh, oh, God. Confinement was a real education, a real. Ah! Ah. I never saw Clockwork Orange, but I remember there's some shots that are similar to that, but I never saw it. Ugh. Glad they didn't show us the surgery. Not yet. How long has he been dope? It's right after we lost our son. Oh. Yeah. You mean after he lost her son? John was with him at the public pool. Oh. You lose your son. Let's see how well you handle it. Lamar Burgess thinks you left John because he lost himself in pre-crime instead of you. Mm. I left him because every time I looked at him, I saw my son. Oof. That's deep. And now you can leave. Yeah, thanks for bringing up these painful memories, buddy. Don't take the bandages off for 12 hours. If you take him off before then, you'll go blind. How's he supposed to see the time with 12 hours? He doesn't see the time. He feels the time. He's Tom Murdoch now. This is a temporary paralytic end, son. You're going to shoot this baby up there right on no, your chin. What, what is this? Oh, it's going to turn your purity phase into mush. Going to put this in your goodie bag together with your leftovers. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm setting up a timer. When it rings tomorrow, you can Okay. Off well, that answers that. A little something from a mutual friend. Oh, is that the drugs? Oh, so the, the guy who sells him the drugs hooked him up with this guy. 
Ah, makes sense. Oh, buddy. Gonna oh, see what happened to this kid. Right. Damn, watch the flashback. No. Is that a world record? It's a personal best. Okay, now I wanna time you. You wanna time me? You gotta be kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh. No. But, like, what? Ugh, did... What? Uh? Did someone just grab him while he was underwater? What? In a public place and no one did it? Oh, Jesus. This is so sc screwed up and scary. I wonder if it really was Leo Crow. I feel like it was at this point. Because they haven't said he specifically died. They said they lost him. It's got to be revealed, right? Yeah. All right. Damn, six more hours. I'm going to you, yeah. God. I just lost him, literally. It really wasn't even his fault. He just went underwater to do, show his kid a... It's not like he left him. I mean, no, he just, was right there. He, he was two feet away from his kid. Oh. That, that toxic... Looked uh, hazardous. Yeah. Don't put that in your mouth. No, don't touch anything else. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, uh. Yeah, that's our reaction. No, too. no, no! Oh, Jesus Christ, why'd they keep that in there? Ugh. No crap. Bad boys, bad boys. And it's funny, the doctor who just helped him mm -hmm. with eyes, he was in Bad Boys too. Oh, wow. Which I believe was the year after this, 2003. I'm thinking you must really like me, don't you, Flesher? That's why you asked to partner with me. What is this, drug, drug Central? 27 warm bodies. Roger that. Confirm 27 warm bodies. What do you think, four spiders, one per floor? Let's do eight. I gotta eat. Spideys. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're cute. Uh, Under authority of PC section 6409, we are deploying spiders in I said it was funny we made those Spider-Man references earlier because I came out the same year as this, 2002. Totally did. That's right. Well, a lot of parallels between this and, and other popular movies of the same year. What is he going to do right now? He's completely incapacitated. <laughs> oh, let's go back to the fight. Where were we? Wow, one whole tracking shot. Spielberg is a master at tracking shots. Oh. Oh, God. And you know Cruz did that, too. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. We lost one. Roger that. It was a cat jumping through a window or something. It's an awful big cat. Right, because they're basing it off heat signature. Oh my god, Tom Cruise. You're How wild, are you bro. doing this, Tom? You're <laughs> wild, dude. Not only is he in a freezing cold tub, but he's also holding his breath for hella long. Whoa. Oh, don't want the heat. Don't want the heat pop. Oh. What is... I'm like... This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Folks, please, be quiet. Close your doors. Go back inside. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He has no eyes. Well, no, he has new eyes. Gonna go blind, dude. We got an ID. It's not him. Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. That was tension-filled. Maybe he just goes blind in one eye now. He just wears an eye patch the rest of the movie. The pre-crime program began in the year 2046 with a... So it's eight years old. Nine years later. Or nine. The of Columbia is the safest city in America because pre-crime works. Pre-crime has eliminated the need... He looks like Ben Affleck in Daredevil. ...not to be distracted from the outside world. But this display should give you some idea of what their daily life is like. Oh, and his chin. He said it's going to hurt more than you can possibly imagine. Million pieces of mail... Ugh... <laughs> What did he say that it was to be used for again? Whoa. Oh, my God. That's wild. Is it supposed to just mess up his face, make Change it look deformed? Face. Yeah. Ah. It's Robert De Niro. Ah, uh, oh, you dropped him. 
Sun, sun sanitary. <laughs> sun sanitary. Oh! oh! He caught one. Okay. Yeah, but he lost the other eye. Well, I All guess he needs is one. Ident John Anderson approved for entry. I'm surprised they didn't uh, Take get rid of away? his clearance and yeah. toads. No, 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 You can't be in here. I like you, Wally. So I don't want to have to kick you or hit you with anything hard. But only if you promise to help me. John? Who does that look like to you? I don't know. I... Maybe someone takes John's face. He's coming here to get her. Oh. That's what I'm guessing. If he can change his face, can't someone in theory make their face look like his face? Can you see? I can see the system's messed up. He's inside. I've got some kind of mask on. See, I said put a face mask on <laughs> as a joke. Move away from the tank! Move away from the tank, John! Get away from the milk! Is that fragile? You can just throw a chair through it? Oh, wow. In the future? Whoa. Wally, Wally, the other two can still fuck. You don't understand, they're a hive mind. Oh. It takes all three for their predictive abilities to work. Oh, no. Are you telling me they can't see murders Maybe anymore? Maybe if you had taken one of the males, but Agatha, she's the key. She's the one they listen to, the one with the most talent. Oof. How much time have we got, Gordon? We've got 51 minutes, 30 seconds. Crow has to be the guy Whoa, who, kills, who I took didn't, his kid. I didn't realize there was only 51 minutes. I thought it was longer than that. I'm sorry. I need your help. You contain information. I need to know how to get at it. Can you just tell me who Leo Crow is? She must be in, like, such a... So disorder. Yeah. Tell me if... Is it now? What? Is it now? Is it Disoriented. now? She must be so traumatized, dude. Oh, my I, God. Poor yeah, girl. Yeah, you're in a, in a tank 24-7 of milk, and now you're in the world world. More product placement. Of course, gap they got now. gap in the future. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Whoa. Welcome back to the gap. Mr. Ya Yakamoto. If he's ransoming her, where's the damn note? It has nothing to do with ransom. It has to do with the information that's inside of Agatha. All along. I'm sorry. Uh, it's <laughs> it's hard not to say that. It's to, so relevant. To, to, <laughs> to, we not? To, to your defense, it is hard not to say that. Assuming Anderton ordered this, who put it together? I'm still thinking about that moldy ass sandwich you ate earlier. Ugh, please. I'm trying to forget <laughs> about it and I'm not trying to think about it. Who's Rufus T. Riley? Just some good, clean fun. It's kind of not far off from where we're at right now, to be honest. With, what? Uh, with VR. You brought a precog here. <laughs> Look at her and you'll know the truth. It's like, oh shit, you did. <laughs> Are you reading my mind right now? Get up. I'm sorry for whatever I'm going to do, and I swear I didn't do any of that stuff I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do any of that that's, stuff I did. That's, that's one of my favorite lines of the movie, Dow. <laughs> I do this, I get to keep whatever images I get from her head. They don't fuck anybody. Take her to Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Maybe it's revived in 2454. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the popularity of the gap is too. I need to see what's going to happen to me. Oof. Are you recording this? Shit. Yeah, recording. God, how did they come up with the visuals for this? It's so incredible. I don't know, man. I'm, it's really like, cool. even for 2002, even if this was today, I'd be like, this is amazing. Where's my minority report? Do I even have one? This is the way. Do I have one? No. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who's Anne? Uh, it's the uh, girl they was trying to find that there's no trace of. Oh, right, 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 right. Who's under Who the is mask? It? Is, it, is, is it our boy? Oh. Call things Colin Farrell. They're inside. Who? All your old teammates. Oh, crap. It's either Colin Farrell or the, the old guy. Oh, Max Von Cito? Yeah. Because they're already in conflict, that'd, be, that'd make uh, Max von Cito would be more conflicting for him. Well, because that's his friend, right? Exactly. Yeah. Narratively, that makes sense. Well, I could probably more see it being 
Max von Sydow just because the the files were were classified. Like, how could Colin Farrell? He's just a bureaucrat. Exactly. That's how like, the hell plus, could they're he? already they're already in conflict. It doesn't make it doesn't make sense for him to it, be like okay. It, even more it, reason. I'm just like, like just going through it. Like, how the hell could he do that? Like, does he have the authority Col- and power yeah. to do that? Colin Farrell wouldn't make sense. It, it must be Max, Max von Sydow. Are the balloons the MVP of this film? Anybody got an ID? Anybody? Negative. 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 Nope. Negative. All right. Scott, Ramos, take the East End. Everyone else, follow me. Let's go. Remember, public displays of affection are very uncomfortable. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Don't go home. <laughs> oh, oh, no. What, she, she cheating on her husband or something? Dang, that's crazy. Oh. Drop some money. Have you put it in my hand? This is so wild. Oh, this is gonna like put yeah. I had a feel I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That's awesome. Yeah. I think she's starting to regain herself a little bit. Who's this actress? I don't know, but she's I've very never, she's very good. This she's is really great. I've never seen obviously her. Obviously, every role is very difficult acting wise, but this is an extremely difficult um role to do. The guy, the man in the window. Twelve minutes? Oh. Must have a look at the register. Yeah, I mind. How about now? Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Him and uh, they were they worked together in Mission Impossible too. Oh, who's that actor? He looks so familiar. Yeah, he was also in Swordfish. You have a choice. Walk away. I think he said he didn't have the choice. Dude, listen to her. She kind of knows the future. I'm not gonna kill the man. I don't even know him. This is a good shot. You're literally walking into it. Oh, there's the woman. Literally, you're, you're, you're walking into the prophecy. You're creating it. You're literally creating it right now. You could have saw the picture and walked the other way. Wouldn't they be waiting for him, too, in that room? That's they... that's your downfall. The fact that you have to know. All right. What is going to happen, Aaron? It's also self-fulfilling because if he never saw that, then he would never be here. That's true. <laughs> this was, literally does w- not have to I was happen. Wondering what the- <laughs> why does this need to happen? I You're not to- listening to the precognitive. I, I agree with that, but I think he also just like wants to find out what the hell is going on at the same point. Like, who are you? What what is going on? I mean, I, I understand his motivation right now, too. I'll two, put two pennies on the guy that's the guy who killed his son or took his son. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but I mean. That's the only reason I can think of for killing a random stranger. Oh, he takes kids. Takes yeah. Takes kids, yeah. Okay. This is our guy. Mm. He's got a picture of his son, I would imagine. Oh, there's his son. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yarp. Oh, I hate this. Oof. For the last six years, I've thought about only two things. The first is what my son would look like if he were alive today. And two, finding the person who did this. And the second is what I would do to the man who took him. Yeah. Yeah. You have to take me home. No. Oh, no. There is no minority report. I don't have an alternate. Oh, future. try it. You need to find out where your son is. You don't know. He killed, you don't know if he killed him. You don't know. You still have a choice. I mean, Leo Crow, where the hell are you? Oh, oh, oh shit! Six years ago, Baltimore, you grabbed up a kid at Francis Public. His name is Sean. He's alive. Where have you got him? Is he all right? It's not going to be. Oh. I took him out. I was gentle. I'm so very sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is this was gonna happen. This is always gonna happen. It's hard not to sympathize and understand where he's yeah, coming from I here. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Oh, my God. That, so hard that must have been the hardest arrest of all time. <laughs> if you can't afford an attorney, we will appoint one. 
Oh my god. You're supposed to kill me. You said you would. What? 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 He called me my cell. He told me I'd be released if I went along and my family would be taken care of. Oh, whoa, what? What? If I acted like I killed your kid. If I acted? You don't kill me, my family gets nothing, okay? Wait, so is he still alive? Oh, what? What? What about the fake? The fake. Oh. Ah! <laughs> no way. You tell me. Holy who shit. Wasn't. Set this up. Holy crap. It's Max one sit out. It's my it's Max. I mean, who else could it, it be? It has to be. I tell you who it was, and my family gets nothing. Make you do this. Kill me. Kill me. You can do this. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Take, just put the gun down. Put the gun down. You're not going to kill me. You're right, brother. Anderson, wait a second. I should have listened to you and just threw the gun away. If you were a child killer, you took these pictures. Would you leave them out on the bed for anyone to find? This is what we'd call an orgy of evidence. Yeah, you would not just have this. No many orgies I had as a homicide None? cop, Gordon. None. <laughs> you don't stack evidence like this against yourself. No. It's not a normal scene. This was all around. Yeah, thank you. All right, it's definitely not Colin Farrell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think we got our, our, our person. I thought it was him for like two seconds. And I was, yeah. no, doesn't make I any think sense. We, we found our guy. Yeah, it makes the most sense. We're chasing the wrong man. What? I don't want to say over the phone. Meet me at Anderton's. I just watched Les Miz recently, and his character reminded me of Javert the whole time. Get this man on Les Miz with you, Jackman. I am Jean Valjean. And I'm Javert. This is the murder of a woman named Anne Lively. This is from the twins, Arthur and Dashiell. Agatha's stream was missing. Now this one is from the cyber parlor. It's, it's the same prevision. Dude, this guy is so evil. <laughs> Look at the surface wind across the water. Watch the ripples moving away from shore. Now the second image. Watch the water. Really is a homicide detective. The ripples are moving the other way. That's good. This murder's taking place at two different times. What? He came to me, told me about the missing data stream. He was concerned that you might find it. <laughs> well, he's right. I did find it. You're convinced too, right? It's totally him. I, I don't know who else it would be. It doesn't make sense for it to be anybody else. Or who has the authority to do with this. Just tell me what you're thinking. So I can kill you. <laughs> I'm thinking someone got away with murder. How? <laughs> that sometimes the precogs see the same murder more than once. Yeah, Jad called it precog deja vu. What if a technician only thought he was looking at an echo? What if what he was really looking at was a completely different murder altogether? Oh. He's a serial killer. Someone else, having reviewed the prevision and dressed in the same clothes, commits the murder in exactly the same way. Whoa. Technician takes a look, thinks he's looking at an echo, erases it. Dismiss, and they dismiss it. Yeah. Of course, it would have to be someone with access to the previsions in the first place. Someone fairly yeah. high up. Yeah. Do you know why I can't hear any of those things, Danny? Because right now, the precogs can't see a thing. Yep. <gasps> Murder, Damn. he wrote. He's like, I, I, I did get Murder, it. Murder, she it's wrote. It's like, at least I figured it out, but damn. I really like Colin Farrell's character. Lamar, it's Laura. Yes, Laura. You have to help him. I mean, it's been six years. He's got to be I feel right. like he killed his son, too. Sure. Yeah. Has he got the precog with him? Yes. What? I'm on my way. Please, please don't tell Danny Whitworth. I don't trust him. I don't think he does. I don't think you gotta worry about that, sis. He's no killer, Lamar. I know. Ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. I just gotta really think about, like, what's his motivation for all these murders that he committed? And, I mean, I get why he did what he did to Tom Cruise to get away with everything, but... What was... So was I... Was, was it, did I guess that right? Like, he was a serial killer? I mean, that's what it appears. That yeah. He's the one who did... Or at least there's... Or is there at least one murder and he just had him do a duplicate murder so he, they throw him off the trail? He got so scared when Tom and Becky were lost in the cave. He's like, I gotta sit down this out. Oh, man. Well, at least he's got a precog with him, and like, right, for the future? Something spooking her. All right, we've gotten past the point of all the visions. Tom Cruise just needs to figure out who the murderer is now. They wanted me to say Crow killed him, but he didn't. But why would they set you up? Let's think about this. Who would do it, and why? Because I found out about her. Yeah, right when he hit the classified file with Tim, Tim Blake Nelson. How could I not have seen this? Because you changed your eyes. <laughs> Agatha. Max. 
She's there. The gunshot. Dr. Henneman once said the dead don't die. They look on and help. Remember that, John. They look on and help. Sean, he's on the beach now, towing the water. He's asking you to come in with him. Okay. And racing his mother up and down the sand. There's so much love in this house. He's 10 years old. <sighs> he's surrounded by animals. Oh. Well, that answers that question. He's in high school. He likes to run, like his father. He runs the two mile and the long relay. He's 23. Oh my God. He's at a university. He makes love to a pretty girl named Claire. He asks her to be his wife. He calls here and tells Lara who cries. He still runs. Across the university and in the stadium where John watches. Chills. Oh God, he's running so fast. Just like his daddy. Oh my God. He wants to run to him, but he's only six years old. Want him back so bad? So did she. She just wanted her little girl back. But it was too late. Oh. She's still alive. She didn't die, but she's not alive. Who killed your mother? Who killed Aunt Lively? Oh. I'm sorry, John, but you're going to have to run again. What? Run! Oh, my God. Jesus. That line delivery scared the shit out of me. That was... Ooh. Okay, no. okay, okay. No, John Anderton. By mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division, I'm placing you under arrest for the murders of Leo Crow and Danny Whitworth. What? Wow. That's it. That's my girl. I'm so worried about you. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> he hurt you? Oh, you're you're doing that. <laughs> Let me kiss her? Oh, don't kiss her. Please don't. It's okay. Wally's here. Creepy Wally. Hey, yep. Creepy ass Wally. It's actually kind of a rush. They say you have visions, that your life flashes before your eyes. Is this head shaved? Yeah, it is shaved. That all your dreams come true. Huh. That's I wonder if so they got a, I wonder if they got a bald cap or they actually shaved his head. Tom Cruise commits, okay? No, I know he does, but he's doing other movies, so it's that's why I'm wondering. I know. I was, I was kidding. This is all my sure they, how do they. How do they resolve this? Who's Anne Lively? Uh, ha, ha. Uh oh, yeah, a, a prick stuck by another prick. I don't know who that is. John said something about him being set up because he found out about her. He also said Crow was a fake. And Whitfer? He was killed with John's gun inside John's Mark, apartment. Mark, why John came here to work for you? Because he thought if he could just stop that kind of thing from happening. That's why he did that to his son to get him to work for him. I think, right? Does that make the most I could, sense? I could see that. Because he needed John. He knew John was the best. That is such a messed up reason to make someone work for you. <laughs> John was the best cop I ever knew. And in some ways also the best man. See? But the scars he carried around. I know oh. he'd want us to honor the good things we remember about him. This guy is awful. First thing Monday, I look over the Whitworth evidence. I'll have Gideon run the containment files. See if anyone drowned a woman by the name of... What did you, what did you say her name was? She didn't say Anne drowned. Lively. She didn't say But drowned. I never said she drowned. Ooh. You've been had, sir. Uh. The press conference is starting. I'll be right there. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Perhaps tomorrow. He's going to kill you now. You know too much. She knows way too much info now. And that Tom Cruise was completely set up. So you think he killed him because he was trying to get him? I, that's what, I mean, again, you you guys let us know in the comments, but I mean, what what else would he, why would he do that to his friend? Like what, I mean, besides the fact he's a psycho murderer, like what, Yeah. I, what other reason would like, Tom Cruise didn't do anything oh, to him. Oh, how'd the wife get in there? I'd like a word with my husband. <laughs> you are not authorized. This gun is authorized. How did you get in here? That's what I'm saying. Ah! Oh! 
She's a badass. She is. I see why he married her. Oh. How did you get this? I padded your expense account for six months. <laughs> I would love it if Tom Cruise killed him with that. That'd be great. You have an emergency call on your private line. Uh, thank you. Uh, this, this is Burgess. Hello, Lamar. I just wanted to congratulate you. <laughs> <laughs> You created a world without murder. Right. And all you had to do is kill someone to do it. A room, Jet. John needs a favor. I'm talking about Agatha's mother, Anne Lively. I was not, I did not see that twist coming. She cleaned herself up and she wanted her daughter back. She wanted Agatha. Okay, now I understand. It's a single stream from the female only with no time or incident data. Whatever this is, it isn't the future. It already happened. And the problem was without Agatha, there was no pre-crime. That's why he did it. You knew without Agatha, you had nothing. Standing there, signing autographs. And he needed John because he was the best to make this all happen too. He committed these murders so he could achieve pre-crime. This is disgusting on his end. So they were already experimenting on her when she wanted her daughter back. Yes. That's why he did that. Yeah. Wow. The motivation makes sense, but it's awful. Yeah. Dude, this is what you get. So now you had to get rid of Anne Lively. You had to shut her up, which presented a problem. How can you kill her without the precogs seeing it? Use a system you control. Echo. So you hired someone to kill her for you, knowing full well the precogs would see that murder. You lured Anne Lively with the promise of reuniting her with her daughter. Oh, that's John Crow. Yeah. Or whatever his name is, Crow. Right? No, it's not Crow. Oh, that wasn't Crow? Didn't look like him. Run. Yeah. And then when you were all alone, you killed her yourself in the same way the precogs predicted your John Doe would kill her. Oh, it was a John Doe. That's right. And Lively became just another missing person. What are you going to do? Well, the movie didn't confirm that he killed his son. No, but he hired the guy. He hired the guy to do it. Remember? We got a red ball. Lamar. John Anderton. Think about the lives that little girl has saved. Think about the lives that little girl saved. Think about all the lives she will save. That little girl could have saved Sean. Don't you ever say his name? Oof. What are you gonna do now, Lamar? What are you going to do now, Lamar? How are you going to shut me up? Forgive me, John. <laughs> this is insane. Forgive me, John. Oh! And he shoots himself? Or does his wife shoot him? The question you have to ask is, what are you going to do? I'm going to stop him. He set him up so he can stop him. If you don't kill me, precogs were wrong and pre-crime is over. Mm. If you do kill me, you go away. But it proves the system works. Precogs were right. Wow. <sighs> his innocence or his freedom. All you have to do is kill me. You know your own future, which means you can change it if you want to. I have a choice. Forgive me, John. <laughs> So, himself. Yeah. Forgive me, my boy. Oh, keeps his ego, keeps his legacy. I was right about that gun uh, being used to kill him. That quick, huh? I don't think he killed his son, dude. Well, no, Crow said I got hired to, to get your son. Remember? remember? He's, but he also said he faked it everything. So then what happened to his son? We don't know. <laughs> what, he just disappeared? Yeah. No, I think it was him. In 2054... The six-year pre-crime experiment was abandoned. All prisoners were unconditionally pardoned and released. Jesus. Police departments kept watch on many of them for years to come. Ooh. System was flawed from the beginning. Oh, she's pregnant. They're going to have another kid. Aww. Guess we'll take solace in knowing they're going to have another kid and they're together. Got to imagine the bald-headed stuff, if he really did shave his head, was at the very end. He will forever have the eyes of a Japanese man. Oh, 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 needs to have a life. Oh, is that his Go son? His, his son in heaven, Agatha, and the twins. Oh, the precogs. Oh, oh, oh were right. Transferred to an undisclosed location. Oh, yes, yes, yes. A place where they could find relief from their gifts. 
Seriously, they deserve it. They're still gonna have the the nightmares though. Are they where they're living? Oh, in like the farmlands. Yeah, they need peace. Yeah, I think they would have made it clear if he if we found out what happened to his son. I think they just left that as a mystery. Well, we'll talk about it in a sec. Okay. Great shot. Beautiful. Nice job, Spielberg. Nice job. Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal nasal spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely, for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24-hour over-the-counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid-free for 24-hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief to my breathing and nostril just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. So whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. And another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also a big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Oh, uh, Jan DeBont, uh, Jan DeBont, however you say it, he was the producer. I believe that was the uh, director of Speed. Anyways, if you guys are listening to us on Spotify or Apple, if you don't mind dropping a rating, we'd appreciate it. Uh, before we get into the film, just really quickly, I, I do really fast want to talk about uh, The Sun. My understanding, and again, uh, I, this is one of those films I feel like you got to watch a cut unless, uh, you know, you, I mean, Aaron and I are not the, uh, or at least I speak for myself. I'm not the smartest uh, person in the bunch, but I feel like it's one of those films, like a Nolan film. You got to watch a couple times just to gather because there's so much information it, coming. It is a lie. It is um, but having said that, my understanding, how my interpretation was um, Lamar, Max von Sydow's character, he hired Crow because he needed uh, Tom Cruise and he knew the only way to get Tom Cruise because Tom Cruise is clearly the best at what he does in this in order to get him on the precog uh, or uh, just in this organization of uh, doing this. He hired Crow, told Crow like, hey, Tom Cruise is eventually going to find out he's going to kill you one day and you're going to get all this money. Uh, you're going to be in a cell and one day you're going to get out. You're going to get all this money, uh, life insurance for your family or something like that. Um, so basically, uh, you being the reason that Tom Cruise's son, uh, you snatching him and, t and killing him, 
uh, Tom Cruise is going going to kill you and your family's going to get all this life insurance money or something like that. But I need you to snatch his son up and this is going to be the reason he's going to join my organization is because... My my only qualm I with that, that, my only qualm with that is happened. that he said know. the photos between him and Crow were fake, which means, at least how I took it, is that everything that we were led to believe mm-hmm. about Crow and the son never yeah, happened. Never Just happened. the fact that but then what he took advantage to- of the fact that he was a guy who wanted his son, who wanted to right the wrongs right. of that, so you're saying, and then brought him in. So you're saying Max von Sydow just recently uh, hired that guy uh, after like it had been discovered the Anne Lively file had thin, then he just now he just hired him with exactly. pictures of that's, his son. That's what they said. The only reason okay. he was set up in the first okay. place was because yeah, because you're saying that's Lively. too elaborate to have the six year plan of all this. Yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's not Dusty okay. Eisenberg, Lex Luthor for you know, like eighteen <laughs> moves in a row. Yeah, you know, eighteen moves ahead of time. I knew, I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, because I guess he would. I guess that makes more sense. But it's like. So he just randomly just got snatched, and then like when his Anne Lively plant. Okay, he I randomly guess, got snatched. Okay, yeah, because yeah. he said the photos were fake, and he said the only reason he got set up in the first place was because he found Anne Lively. Okay, that makes okay. Uh, then I take back what I said. That makes more sense then. Okay, because I okay. thought that's how I was interpreting it, but what you just said makes more sense. Okay. Uh, all right. Now that we're clear on that, uh, getting into the actual film itself uh, was a complete roller coaster ride. Also, too, just when I, th- uh, you know, for a sci-fi film that was. Uh, extremely exhilarating. Tom Cruise, another just, I don't care what anyone says. He's a phenomenal actor. I mean, he's just, I mean, he has just got a complete range uh, as an actor. Uh, He can do action. He can do drama. And one of my favorite performances of his, by the way, is A Few Good Men. I think he's so good in that. But he can do it all, in my opinion. And I love his performance in this. And I was not expecting such emotion in this film, for a sci-fi film, too. Obviously, there are sci-fi films that you know hit that, but I love the the balance in this film between the action, the sci-fi, the emotion. There was just it really Spielberg and the, whoever the writers were, I didn't see, really nailed that balancing point for me. Yeah, and there was so much mystery in this film too, because again, there's like I said, there's so much information you're trying to. If you don't, I, again, I assume there was a book, but if you don't know the book or this is a first time watch, again, there's so much you got to pick up on. So. Uh, Just from that aspect of it, I was just so, you know, the world building, I was like, wow, this is so intriguing. Uh, Also to the visuals, so damn impressive. And I just love the, just again, the the storyline is so intriguing in itself. Like the idea that you can stop murders before they happen. Obviously, if the whole thing wasn't as flawed as what we learned from, you know, with Lamar and all that, and you're not interfering on people's rights. It's an interesting idea just in itself. Of course, I, I can't imagine if, again, if it wasn't like for sure they'd mess up on anything and you really, and again, there was no flaws in the system and it really was 100% accurate. I can't imagine none of us would want to live in that world where like you could really get it right, right? I mean, it's it's yeah. an interesting question. Um, it's 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 debatable for me because uh, it's, it's, it's a premise we've seen that was the first time I've seen it like, executed but i'm familiar with the premise of you know should we stop crime before it happens should we let it play out are people truly um guilty if they haven't committed the crime it's like this it's this whole debate about morality i like the fact that that wasn't the whole thing that exactly that wasn't the the crux of this story was that debate but it used that that premise to tell this other story which i thought was very uh very engaging the entire time. Like just to build off what Andrew said, the fact that it was this emotional story or had that element of emotion Mm -hmm. with Tom Cruise, like kind of wanting to uh, be in this whole thing because of the fact that he lost his son, you know, and just this mystery of like what happened to this Anne woman. And yeah, just the way that the whole story was constructed. I really feel like this was a movie that was ahead of its time, both with its premise and the way that the, the sci-fi elements and action was set up. These, these scenes still hold up like 20 plus years later. Like I'm surprised this movie isn't as talked about, at least the fears that I run in yeah. as Spider-Man too. Cause I feel like the, the, the level of advancement that this movie has on display is great really, really top notch, really top quality. Like yeah. the score was great. And also just speaks to Steven Spielberg's diversity as a director. Like does it all we've, I don't know when this is going up or well, we've, we recently watched another Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, that's very different from this is very popular. I would say arguably more popular than this movie is. Uh, and you'll, if that's up by the time this comes out, you already know what it is. Right, just um, keep it vague like that. Yeah, I'll keep it vague. Yeah. But, um, 
just to just to continue on, I will say that everything that this movie set up, it I imagine it's one of those ones that are is really great on, on rewatch because you'll see the seeds set up yes. from very early on, you know. Absolutely. And I just wanted to live in this world. I want to explore more of this world. You know, Absolutely. I know did you know this has a TV show actually that came out in twenty fifteen, Minority Report? I really did not actually know that at all. No. Yeah. I would I would love to explore more of the lore and like more of the the, the world and the technology that takes yeah. place in this. Uh because yeah, it was just very well thought out. It it wasn't confusing in the way that these three were able to the predict. And I would love to like yeah a, pr- a procedural version of the story would be very, very interesting to, to follow. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of those films where I want to live in the world again, rewatch and pick up on things where I'm like, oh, OK, now that I have the information, now I can see that and, and pick up on this kind of thing. It's definitely one of those type of films. Um, and then too, just, uh, Cruz doing his own stunts and stuff. the man, like you said, he's so damn committed. That's why I appreciate him. So whatever issues you have with him off the screen, whatever, but on screen, he's so damn committed. And I he really is. like action wise, everything else. I'm so appreciative of this. Act. I don't know if we're ever going to get someone like him again. He's one once in a generation type of actor. Um, and like I said, he is, uh, and like Spielberg, I think that was such an interesting pairing of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're both so versatile yeah. and they just like, they can just, like I said, they could just do it all. And I love this pairing. And again, I'd only seen more of the worlds and Cruz is a completely different. Ca- I'm not going to spoil that film for you, but <laughs> he's a completely different character in that movie uh, versus here. Like here in this at the beginning, not to kind of sound all meta, but he's really like Iron Man in terms of like, he feels very invulnerable. Uh, just like at the beginning, like this guy's like, nothing can stop him and i like that they kind of like once the tables turned on him like now we got this cat and mouse game going and like he's on the run uh and just following him through that whole thing and then as the story was unfolding and then as his character was developing more uh as we were watching him i thought that was like again the story was just so damn tight and so good uh and i thought again his arc too was really well earned when he decided not to shoot like yeah i'm not a father personally but like I wanted him so badly to shoot that guy. Yeah, I, mean, I was hey, like, oh, even though yeah, we found, done, dude. even it's though, a wrap. yeah, and even though, to. even though we found out that that wasn't the guy who ended up, uh, you know, snatching, killing his kid, uh, whoever that ended up being. But of course, like you could sympathize and understand his motivation for feeling in that moment. But that yeah. was a great character arc moment right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just so well done. This character, uh, also too, I really like the uh, the actress who played Agatha. Again, very difficult role. I mean, you, anytime you're playing opposite Tom Cruise, like he's he's a heavyweight, so I mean, that's just going to be intimidating in itself as an actor. Right. But again, having to be in this trance, and then the way she was just able to emote, and the way she was able to uh, read off her dialogue, like I was just so impressed. I, I'm not just off the top of my head. I'm not very familiar with this actress. Maybe I've seen her in other stuff, and I'm just not. Uh, remembering right now, but I was really impressed with her. Uh, just again, she didn't have a ton of lines of dialogue. No, but, but she utilized it, her but screen she, time very yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. But like her performance, like really stood out to me. She was yeah. fantastic. I loved her performance so much yeah. uh, in this film. Yeah, I want to say I really dug Steven Spielberg's visual storytelling and Absolutely. The, the all the things that were hinted at or that were shown rather than said. I think that was very clever. Like yeah. the whole scene in the beginning where. We're seeing his relationship or seeing him watch the video of his son. Like the fact that he's memorized this thing over and over, yeah. even without saying what specifically happened to him, you know yeah. that there's a sense of loss that's, that's gone. Absolutely. On yeah. I mean, he, like you said, he didn't say anything, but us watching that, you can tell this is a very depressed human being. Uh, also him buying the drug, like that's why he's buying the drugs and that's why he's going like, and also why he buries himself into work, why he's mm-hmm. doing this job. Right. Nothing was said, but watching the visualization, the visual storytelling, you know what's going on. I love stuff like that. It's not, it's not the the director, or the writers holding your hand, but just giving you a visual, a visual storytelling to say this is what's going on. We trust you to be smart and under, have an understanding. And I, I just, I love when when directors and writers do that. I, I'm more appreciative of that. Yeah, and I feel like st- the beautiful thing about Steven Spielberg, especially on display in this movie, is that he's not only a master at at capturing a, a powerful performance with mm-hmm. with character and like really honing in on that, that drama but he's also a master at capturing uh engaging action oh yeah. engaging 
uh, set pieces. And like you, you have the, you, we live in a world where we have things that are valued, like either like strong character stuff or strong plot stuff. And he's like that middle ground that's mastered both of those things. I think that, <laughs> yes, you know, be, be, because we're, we're able to, to do that, in addition to just having an interesting filming style, it makes the entire presentation of the film absolutely um, just engaging on all fronts. You know, whether you're someone who is attracted to, to drama or, or more, more um, grounded character moments, mm-hmm. or you're one who's just like wants to turn your brain off and watch action. He makes action engaging. He makes action something that's worth seeing because it's um, it, in, in and of itself is just an escalation of the story. It's not action for action. It's yeah. to get us to another place, to get us to another point in the story, which yeah. was also and just so great. For sure, for sure. And just uh, touching up a little bit too on the action sequences, like this is not meant to be any comparison, but because they came out in the same year and we were talking about Spider-Man, uh, you were talking about earlier, and we were making uh, little jokes on the li- uh, the lines, you know, the finish it thing. Uh, Spider Man came out in the very same year as this, and again, I still appreciate the uh, the visuals and the action in that film. It's very very good, but there's some stuff that you can tell in that film that's a little bit outdated with some of the visuals and the CGI for sure. Like when I watch this film, like this could have come, and it's the same thing with Termin- like Terminator Two and Jurassic Park. You can watch those films now and go. This is not outdated in any way. Like the way they uh, utilize practical and CGI and utilize it together is just chef's kiss. So perfect. And this film, too, I just I really thought the way the visuals were done here, like I really was feel uh, like I just was immersed in 2054. I believe the year was. Mm -hmm. I really like again, I can't believe this came out in 2002. I'm still like uh, my mind is just like going in circles. Like, how did they do this in 2002? Like if this came out right now, I'm like. Amazing. I mean, some of the stuff is a little dated. I'm not gonna lie. Which uh, <laughs> like, like, it, like, maybe it looks spi- good for may, the time. Maybe it's the sp- at. maybe the spider uh, stuff was a little CGI, but other than that, for like a couple, for the most part, overall, I thought the CGI and the visuals in this absolutely breathtaking for me. Like, I am still so impressed, and it's not very outdated for the most part. Overall, it's not outdated for me. If it was for you, totally. It didn't. Cool. It didn't take me out of the experience, but I was very well. I was very aware that's a CGI car. <laughs> or like, oh, I mean, the, like, the exterior, uh, certain, the certain exterior, the too. exterior of the car. Okay, I'll give you that one. But it's in the exterior of the car. But um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Yeah. Like, it's, tw- it's 20 years. Of course, like some stuff. I still hold not, up. I, st- I just like, think, if you put this next to Avatar, you can clearly tell one well, of them I mean, is like, come yeah, on. I mean, but one, I'm not saying it's one, bad. I'm saying I eat 300 million dollar budget. But yeah, I feel you. Is it? I will say for being 2002, I think. If you're just comparing it to certain scenes within yeah. Spider-Man 2, this is stronger visually, but that is not a slight against the movie. Oh, no. there's And again, I'm not giving any slight on Spider-Man 2. I, or Spider-Man no, I'm not, I'm not or giving any slight 2. against this movie, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Or Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. I love them both. Um, but also, too, that one tracking shot where it was going with uh, with the spiders and it was going like over the roof, uh, kind of over each individual place that the spiders were going into. Mm-hmm. I'm so obsessed with that shot. Spielberg, again, he just utilizes tracking shots so damn well. He's so good at it. Yeah. I. He always hires the best cinematographer. I mean, naturally so. I'm sure every cinematographer wants that call from Steven Spielberg, but he always hires the best. Uh, but I love his track. When he, uh, in all his films, I love his tracking shots. He's so good. And that one was freaking awesome. Um, and another great score from John Williams. No, I was going to say the music the, was great, too. The dude can do no wrong. There was some orca- uh, or What's How do I say this word? Orchestral? Or- is that how you say it? Orchestral? Orchestral. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, there were some orchestral be- beats, and just in general, like, John Williams just has this... He's just incredible. He comes out with original beats that just stick with you in your mind, and that means come up with some of the most amazing themes of all time. I don't even need to name them. You guys know what I'm talking about, but... He's simply, the, I think he's the greatest composer ever. Uh, another amazing score. I don't know how this guy just keeps coming out with different score after different score. It's just amazing. It doesn't even matter the quality of the film. He just always seems to come out with a score like that just sticks like with you. Notch, yeah. It's always top notch. I mean, and I'm so glad that him and Spielberg have just like, I believe since Jaws 1975, I, I could be totally wrong. And please, if I am, let me know in the comments. I believe just about Every film they've ever worked on, or every film Spielberg has directed, John Williams has done the music again. If I'm wrong, I actually do want to know. Please let me know. 
Um, but again, another winning score from uh, Williams. Cinematography, phenomenal. Love the performances. I actually like that actress, too, who played... Uh, and I loved Colin Farrell as well, He's but uh, the really actress good. who uh, played his wife, she did a great job, too. You could feel the the uh, sympathy and emotion as well from her character of the loss of their son. I thought she really held up. Well, you could feel that history between her and Tom Cruise as well. Definitely. And I love the resolution we get at the ending and that she... I love too that they didn't just make her a damsel in distress. Like she was a very Drunk. active character. Like she, like when Tom Cruise got uh, wrongfully put back into prison, she came to his defense and was a, and she also discovered like what Lamar was up to and like came to his defense and got him out. I love active characters like that. I'm not a big personally, not a big fan of damsels in distress. I like Been that. Done that. I, I yeah, I like badass female characters. Um, you know, Ellen Ripley, Sarah Connor, etc. So I was glad that Spielberg and the writers made her a very active character. Um, it makes sense that Tom Cruise, this this badass of a character, would pick her as a wife. She was awesome. Great performance. I don't think I've ever seen her in anything, but she was, a, she was great in this film. Um, do you got anything else to say before I come up with some fun facts? Uh, no, let's, let's All right, get a let's, couple in. Let's take a look. See what, I'm sure there's going to be a million in this one. Let's oh, see. I am DB, my naughty <laughs> report. I gotta get going. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do a few really quick. Just like three or four. Is that cool? Like two or three. Okay, <laughs> two or three then. <laughs> I'll try and come up with really quick. Oh, okay. Uh, the scene where Lois Smith, the the doc, the doc, poison ivy doctor, mm-hmm. uh, where she kisses Tom Cruise was not scripted. Tom's oh, reaction wow. is of genuine surprise. Wow. Well, oh. we were even like... She said, I got to get this cruise kiss in. I said, she's I'm going for those cruise shot. lips. I was like, it's, was that script? I was even like in my head. I'm like, was this supposed to It didn't to make be? sense. But right, yeah, I'm like, great. all right. I mean, she was a little oddball. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, so for the scene where Anderton, Tom Cruise, where he holds his breath in the bathtub, Steven Spielberg was going to create the air bubble rising with CGI. But Tom Cruise took the time and learned how to do it himself. I believe that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> He's like hell. Tom no. Cruise. He's gonna I'm commit. Do- yeah, I'm I'm doing this. All right, let me find one more. Uh, because I know you gotta go. Let me find one more. Oh, uh, Steven Spielberg hired the top twelve contortionists from around the world to do the futuristic yoga class scene. Hmm. Uh, that makes sense. Cause I was like watching, I'm like, how are they moving like that? That's like, where they're walking and crawling like that. That's again, you get those calls from Steven Spielberg. Like, hell yeah. I can promote myself and in a Steven Spielberg film. I'll do it. It, it, was, it was wild. That, <laughs> yeah. was, that was a really good Yeah. Scene. We could have read a, a bunch on more, but, uh, we don't have the time, unfortunately. But uh, let us know in the comments section what you guys thought of Minority Report. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure watching this with you guys. And, yeah, come back for the next one because we have a lot of fun doing this. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. Have a great day. Deuces. Cody EX, you are, are an enigma. An enigma. <laughs> yep. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Gerald F., for f- new friend, for your because welcome, you're our new friend, Matthew. We are brothers, brothers in, arms. in arms. Jack, meet me in the forest. Namari, I see you in the shadows, my friend, always lurking with the violet rays perching through. Absolutely, Mike Joyce. There's no better choice, choice than Mike than Joyce. Joyce. Ryan Smith, you Narvik beast. <laughs> Kevin Meek rhymes with beast, and I assume you live in the east. On a creek. Adrian Timms, some of us like to call you AJ around these parts. Navdeep Sidhu, I want to sit with you and learn about your life. I bet you have an interesting one. Real Nagas. What is that, like a Chinese name? (laughs) Heather Gear. Have no fear when she's around because, you know, it's always good times. It's always good vibes. Jacob Neptune, you are uh, you like Reese's Pieces a lot, don't you? Kayla the King, Yas Queen. Queen. Olivier Hamlin, the 23rd of, y- of all you guys. I did a 23 me, and I saw we were related. Do you get what I'm doing? Alan Ling, thanks for coming to that recent live stream. That's 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 it. Kiera 
You are not part of the KGB, but the KGM, which is the Michigan, Michigan version, version of that military Russian unit. Juan Longoria. Goria. You are also Russian and from the KGB. Just look at your name. Cliff Rodriguez, you're a you're quite the, the, the kill, cl Cliffred. Clifford. Clifford. With a K. Hey, big red dog. <laughs> that took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> we got there. Yon wreck, never a wreck in person or otherwise. You're always fully composed. Goat Nation, if I were to guess your password, I would say it's 6FH4IU6WP. <laughs> just, just doming it. Lorenzo... Baxter is not a backstabber, and I want that to be clear. Loyalist of the mall. Differently sane. Is your name Wesley? This whole time did not know. Right. Marco Tunstill. Was your name DeMarco this whole time? Because also, that, that's also a twist. Simply faded. I get like, uh, not a Matthew Fox, but a, but a Sawyer vibe from you. Mm, mm. SJ94. Still have no idea what any of those letters or numbers could be pertaining to. Definitely not a Sarah in there whatsoever. Justin Martin, uh, y seven twenty one. I, I is that? Are you the seven hundred twenty first one of the Justin Martins? Like, are you, is there a junior? Hey, your name? Should I ask so many times? I don't have shit to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> get a get an updated name and and hey Colin Colin selectively Anderson or selectively mononymous pick one buddy but either way stay pledged Philip J Smith Jr. you know what you seem like a not just a cocky guy but a handsome guy Jen Smith I have no idea why but I have a feeling that you might be a fan of the album Kid A by Radiohead. Inkling. Melanie LeBlanc. I love you. Yep. I love you too. And we love all of you. Yeah. I love Melanie equally. the most, though, because Except I think she Melanie loves me more. the most out of all of you guys. So, guys, thank you very much for being part of our Patreon page and uh, for supporting us the way you do. Yeah. And glad we could sh proclaim your names on camera oh. for each and every one of you. Much love. Hope to see you again for the April of 2024, you sexy freaks. <laughs>